file these lawsuits. Attorney Larry Walter specializes in freedom of speech cases. Walter says you can post opinions about a doctor or business online, but make sure you know what you're saying. We can't cross the line into making a false statement of fact about another person that causes damages to that person. People regularly go to review sites like Angie's List, RateYourDoctor.com and others to share their opinions about services with other consumers. Walter says the lawsuit Dr. Soto filed is part of a growing trend. A proliferation of lawsuits against individuals who make statements online that are negative uh, against businesses. Walters adds big businesses are suing critics, forcing them to hire a lawyer and spend thousands to defend their online statements. Walter says that creates a chilling effect on others. Even if they have a valid complaint, even if somebody did them wrong and they can prove it, they don't want to be sued and have to spend $10,000 proving their point. Bottom line, feel free to express your opinions online, but have your facts straight before you do it. This afternoon, Dr. Soto tells Fox 35 News he has contacted the patient who was critical of his services. They've been talking over the last few days, trying to make that patient more satisfied, and his lawsuit against her could soon be dropped. In the news from Keith Landry, Fox 35 News. The First Amendment attorney Larry Walters, who you heard from in that story, says there is talk on Capitol Hill of coming up with a law to discourage large businesses from suing people and running up their legal bills to silence their critics.